if you live in a rural part of the UK and your property is fed from a private water supply, you may find this useful. This is the extended version. I've made a shorter version, but uh, I thought I'd give you a fuller picture. It's over 12 years since I was last up in these hills. I used to live here and I used to live in one of the houses fed from a so-called spring supply that sits in the, in the trees there. As you can see, there are many houses around here virtually all of which are fed by private water supplies. Many boreholes these days. I can see at least three, four properties that now have boreholes, whereas in the past they had these spring supplies. We call them spring supplies, but I actually studied this this, uh, this source as part of my masters at the University of Leeds. Um, it's best described as a surface derived source. What happens is the upper layers of soil act as a sponge slowly releasing the water. Because it's a gritstone area, there's this shale below the surface, maybe one or two meters down, and then the water hits the shale and then runs out of the hill. At that point, there is a so-called spring line along the hills, uh, along this particular hill, and this is one of the so-called springs. There is another just along the way there, and there are two going in the other direction. Now, with global warming, of course, the upper layers of soil are becoming depleted. And the prediction is that temperatures are going to continue to increase. We had 40 degrees centigrade uh, this year. And the prediction is at some point in the near future, our climate is going to be like that of Spain. 40 degrees may not be that rare, so water scarcity is going to become a problem as it is in many parts of the world so just climbing over this animal proof fence <laughs> that's not very effective and i'm walking to the source as i say the water comes down uh, from the upper layers of soil it can be channeled down here via culverts, land drains, or we don't really know. What I do know, because I laid the pipe, uh, there is a pipe that runs down from this rusty lid here and runs down to another tank lower down the head, hill, and then it fed five properties. I know that some of those properties still rely on this as a source of water. So I can't hear any water flowing at the moment, so that's not good. So let's have a look inside. So, wow. You probably can see, it's barely even damp. I don't think there's been water in there for quite a while and it did rain last night. So I'll just put the camera inside. At the back there, you should see the shale. The water flows from there and is channeled towards the brown pipe, which has got a makeshift strainer on the end to stop frogs getting in. That used to be a problem. That's not good. What can you do? The, the property I lived in uh, is, is for over 400 years old and supply probably dates back longer than that. When they designed these so-called springs, they, they needed to situate them on 
the side of the hill higher above the property because it relied on a head of pressure. They didn't have pumps then. In fact, the property I lived in is called Spring Hill. So there are lots of springs around here. Now, you can't do anything up here. The chances of finding another sustainable source is extremely low. Even if you lived here like the, the farmers who farm this land, they used to live on the land and they'd know every source of water. Even if you did that these days, you, you would be struggling to find an alternative source. So you either put tanks down the bottom of the hill, which is fine as long as you've got water, but this looks as though it's, it ran out weeks ago. With global warming, it could be that there's no water throughout the whole of the summer months. So storage doesn't really solve the problem. So this is one of those situations where I think a borehole is going to be the best option. You wouldn't drill the borehole on the side of the hill. You wouldn't get the drilling rig up, up the steep slopes. And once you drilled it, you'd also need a power supply, which is not that easy, uh, especially if you need way leaves to, to run trenches across land. So you drill a, a borehole further down the hill next to the properties and probably one for each property. That's what's happening here, I believe. A borehole costs about £11,500 plus VAT. Uh, it can go up to sixteen and a half thousand pounds, depending on which driller you use. On top of that, you you would need filtration. That possibly could cost in the region of the five six thousand pounds. Could be less than that. It depends on the water quality. You don't know what the water is going to be like until you drill the hole. I do know from other other properties around here that the water quality does vary. Uh, some have extremely high iron and manganese levels. One property has hydrogen sulfide, a rotten egg smell. There's even hardness. So they need a fair amount of equipment, but it all is treatable. And there you go. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.